Okay, so we are trying to finish up our part two of all of our extras and our um, activities. Um, oops, I'm hitting the camera, throwing you around. Um, some of this stuff will just be for art or downtime or um, it will tie in with a unit study or something. So um, that's what all the stuff we're going through. But I left off when my uh, part one cut off was talking about this uh, puzzle. And it's just your floor puzzle, 24 pieces um, of, the, uh, of a fire engine. And the boys love doing puzzles. So we make sure we have a lot of puzzles on hand. Um, my four-year-old has been dying for me to show this. So I'm going to go ahead and show it. Um, I actually found this at... Um, Goodwill and it was I think I think they had it for $5.99 and I got 50% off so so I got it for like three bucks and it's really the cutest little thing it's a little carrying case and as you can see it has all kinds of um, different things in here it comes with um, you got your crowns and your scissors your glue your paint and your markers uh, more crowns and colored pencils it comes with com some construction paper and like this picture shows it kind of flips over and and you can use it as a little desk and he was so excited about this and the video that i tried to make that actually cut off we had just opened this brand new so it is actually brand spanking new um, so that was a pretty good deal for three bucks so um he'll enjoy this there's all your construction paper you got all your colors and then to set it up as a desk, um, hmm. oh, I guess you have to be smarter than the object. It's, oh, okay, so, and that's how you set it up as a desk. I see. Well, look at that. Okay, and then you use the front of it. Okay, that's cool. So he'll he'll love that. We can use this in the car ride and different things too. It doesn't have to be for um, school. Um, we had talked about the spelling, and this is a Bananagrams. If anybody has ever used these before, comes in a cute little zip of banana. And then all your letters here, and you can play games with them and you do your spelling and um, kind of tile like you would see in Scrabble and stuff. And we actually love to play Scrabble, so. That is fun. Here's your bananagrams. A lot of activities you can use with the bananagrams. So I've had this actually for a while now. We just have never used them. So we are letting them be used this year with all of our homeschooling. Okay, so here's some books we have. Um, this was given to me by my father-in-law. He gets all kinds of antiques and books and stuff, and he always um, brings them by. And lets us kind of pick through what we want to what we want to keep, and this is not up to date. So it has, um, as you see here, George W. Bush is our last president, so we're missing Barack Obama and Donald Trump now. But um, it is um, actually a very neat book. It has all kinds of information, and it walks through um, the presidents. Let's see if we okay. So you got John Adams here, and it's it's kind of like a Wikipedia <laughs> version of each president and then small little fun facts and um, there's like the um, inside of the White House and how it's broke down which we got to go through this year um, let's see what is it June um, the end of June now so it was the beginning of May so just about two months ago we got to go through the White House for the first time I had never been and um, actually my whole family had never been to the White House before so um, that was so much fun, and if you watched part one, I've already said that we go to Washington, D.C. all the time. We've seen just about everything you can see, but we have not gone through the White House. Um, there's a lot of steps you have to take to be able to go to the White House as far as contacting, contacting your congressman and different things like that. So we had just never done that, but um, now we did, and we got to see this, and it was so much fun. But it talks about when the White House caught on fire, and um, so then you move on to... Thomas Jefferson, and you got all kinds of fun uh, information in here. So, of course, I love history, so this is right up my alley. Okay, next we have the Civil War days. Um, I had already shown you the Colonial Days um, activity book that I got for the kids. It's American Kids in History, so um, this is the Civil War days, and we will have, be having a unit on Civil War, so uh, we will be using this. And it, 
it'll have a recipe or maybe a toy or something um, how to make something they did um, or just different information different activities you can do with kids and um, you can then look up the supplies or something and have it already already marked and ready to go um, we won't do everything in here I'll go through the book and and mark which activity or whatever I want to um, pull out and do for our unit um, lesson of the Civil War and then I'll just have everything prepared to do that then but um, very fun this is like a soldier's food so um, that'd be something fun to do is um, doing a um, home ec class or something making something that they how they did in the Civil War era so um, this is our space book we actually have a couple of space books still coming in the mail for our unit for space um, just goes through each of the planets and the galaxies and um, just packed full of pictures and fun information um, I like having this book because it'll show you actual uh, pictures that they've taken with satellites plus the book that I have coming in the mail is kind of like the cartoon version of everything and make it fun and they uh, the planets smile and you know the half faces and different things like that so now we'll have two books that um, one more little kid friendly and then one uh, for the older kids more to enjoy so yep we enjoy having that and then um, this is for our Jamestown um, unit that we will be discussing and learning about we have been to Jamestown in Yorktown and uh, Williamsburg we went on vacation that's actually in May when we went to the White House we went there that's where we stayed was Williamsburg and then we kind of popped up to the White House and and did that but um, since we're going to have a really large unit on Jamestown, and this is that is just solely me adding it into their um, their schooling, it's not a part of the curriculum. The history kind of um, runs over that kind of stuff, but um, since we went there, I want to uh, emphasize some things that we learned there um, and go through. I know that um, the kids were awfully confused trying to figure out which was the actual first settlement you know because you got the Spanish settlement and the English settlement and things like that so um, anyway uh, this will be fun for them to do there uh, with that unit and you just build this this ship so it gives you all the uh, materials and I've got a bad glare so you can't really see me really. okay and it gives you all the materials in the step-by-step -step, and then you make this this little model ship and I think that is so cool it's beautiful that will just fit perfectly with that unit so and this what I got at hmm, oh Hobby Lobby and it was on clearance for 467 and then here's a couple of our art books um, we have so much more coming in and I'll do another um, homeschool haul so you guys can um, see what all we're gonna have going into the year so we're gonna have so much and um, this is based for all the kids can enjoy doing this but the little kids will probably enjoy doing this uh, more as as you can see it's very cartoony based and uh, but it's fun and it's like there you go you're gonna make a, a centaur and you can make a mermaid and it walks you through I'm sure you guys have seen the I can draw or how to draw or the steps in drawing and this is um, one of the only ones I have for the older kids as far as drawing we have some painting stuff and and um, different art things for the kids music wise and different things like that but as far as drawing for the older kids this is the um, only one I have that's really more advanced and you actually they have the other versions that they have for like the pastel or oil and acrylic um, so you can get the books to teach you guys those um, in case you want to see the name and maybe look it up it is wild animals learn to draw step by step and um, let me give you just a brief view of this so this is showing you how to draw uh, certain kinds of hair uh, parted hair curly hair rough hair um, a bare nose uh, silky hair and then you can start learning how to draw certain animals you got penguins uh, antelope and polar bears kangaroo a baboon so that's fun it's uh, a little bit more advanced so that'll be for the older two we have this for the older two as well my daughter loves horses and they both have kind of gotten into this painting um, this is not by themselves though this is a paint by numbers as 
you can see here, you can see the little numbers in there. It's going to still be a lot of work, the technical difficulties. I stopped the video, but I was, let me finish up saying that, um, my older two will then do this and, um, this will be part of their art class. And I thought that would be really fun. I got this at Walmart for $5. Um, another puzzle, <clears throat> like I said, we do a lot of puzzles. They enjoy that. It's a lot of uh, problem solving for the little ones trying to figure out where they all go. Um, and we like that. We like to give them something to work hard for and then get to see the beautiful result. And then my four-year-old, like I said, loves dinosaurs. Everything he has is is uh, covered in dinosaurs. So um, we got this. It's a 60 piece, but he actually does 100 pieces and such. So this should be fairly easy for him. So then we have these two um, science kits. Oh, uh, by the way, some of this stuff, uh, most of it, as a matter of fact, if I haven't said where I got it from, it's because it was either given to me or I got it from a consignment shop um, for 50 cents or a dollar. So, but these two things I got at the Dollar Tree and they were a dollar each. And this one is um, a science experiments, uh, experiment, I'm sorry, where you make snow. I'm trying to focus in on it. It's having a hard time. There we go. Um, you make snow with this one. It's not a very big pack, so they'll just get to do it one time, probably all together instead of one time each. Um, and then this one is, um, you make this crystal tree, and they were only a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so that's kind of like what that looks like at the back and gives you the pieces, and that's how you do that. That's fun. Okay, so um, my daughter will be doing... Um, crocheting and sewing this year. I know how to crochet. I do not know how to knit, although I do have some knitting needles and things, but maybe that's something I can learn with her and we can do that together. But um, these are the knitting needles that I purchased. Oh, all this stuff, sorry, you're blurry this whole time. All this stuff was purchased on Amazon. Um, I believe I got this, this whole case and it's cute, little zip up case that holds everything. I want to say around $10. Um, it goes all the sizes here, and they're wood, um, very nice and smooth. I, I prefer the wood. I know some people prefer like the aluminum or whatever. I think the uh, thread um, slides on this very well and is much easier to handle for me. But um, then you got your knitting needles and um, anything if you want to make something with spear, like a sock or something. So that is our things for... Um, crocheting which we will be doing this year and then I got her we'll probably just touch on the basics of this um, and this is a little a little bitty sewing kit it's just it's the tiniest thing it's nothing fancy I have a nice big sewing machine and I keep having technical difficulties um, again this is the sewing machine or sewing kit I was talking about having a sewing machine um, so this is um, just a little bitty kit that has um, just your basic stuff like your thread and your scissors. Um, man, okay. And let me see if I can. Your needles and, and your pins and different things like that. So I'll just teach her the basics with this thread kit. And then um, as we get more advanced with this, because this will just be something we touch on. This is not going to be... Um, like a big unit or a book to do. We're just going to learn the basics and as she gets better with just that then we'll go on to the sewing machine and I really regret that she doesn't already know more about the sewing machine but we'll get to that. So this is a map I purchased to hang on the wall for our Bible classes and things. It is so cute and it, uh, and it has so much information on it. My dog's scratching at the back door, wanting out. Um, so you have like Turkey up here, and then you have Israel, um, Syria, Jordan, uh, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran over there. Um, then you have Egypt right down here. And it shows you, it has like little pictures of different um, things that had happened in the Bible where they would have maybe happened at. And um, so, let me see if I can't zoom into some of this. And there we go. So you got like Samson up there knocking over the pillars and um, baby Jesus being born. So all, all these cute.
cute little characters and everything showing cartoon characters showing you where everything would have would have happened at and where it would have been. Um, I just love this map. So I had purchased it off of Amazon and it was $6.89 I think it was. So um, one of my favorites. I think that's just the cutest thing. And this is an interactive world map. Um, I bought it for $10. It is on Amazon it's like $15. Uh, either $14.99 or $15.99. So, uh, of course, I obviously wanted to purchase it at um, Hobby Lobby then for only $10. But it is an interactive map, so you can download the app. And um, it's really kind of fun how it works. So you point your phone or your iPad or whatever at the, um, at the map, and then you can interact with the countries and different things like that and so that'll be hanging so we can do that and then of course I wanted a globe I've been wanting a globe for years now but I just had other things to buy with the kids that were uh, more important at the time um, so we didn't purchase a globe because they're kind of expensive but um, we actually got a good deal on this uh, for the size it is and it's a tan one and you actually can uh, feel the yeah you can feel the mountains um, so it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful good size um, we bought this one it was on 50% off at Hobby Lobby for $25 so if you get the um, well you can always get the 40% off off their website but if you ever get the if you're ever there and they have the 50% um, off um, spheres deck bless you God bless you thank you um, if they ever have um, that 50% off the decorative spheres, then this would uh, be included in that, so it was 50% off. So I totally love our globe, the fact that we finally get one. So that is all that I have right now. We still have things coming in the mail, and tomorrow I am actually going to a teacher's resource um, supply center and um, a couple Dollar Trees that I've never been to in Indianapolis, because I am from Indiana, and um, Hopefully I come back with all kinds of goodies to show you guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.